สวัสดีค่ะ Hi I'm Chef Nui regular executive chef and co-owner at Pai Kin สบายสบาย and s u k o t a i restaurants in Toronto Canada Today I'm gonna show you how to make Pad Thai The first thing we're going to do here is to make Pad Thai sauce and to make Pad Thai sauce we we'll need ingredients palm sugar water tamarind paste oyster sauce Fish sauce and sweet soy sauce, and I like to make my own tamarind paste because it's fresh and it's so easy to do it. To make tamarind paste, in a small saucepan over high heat, bring the water to a rolling boil. Break the tamarind into small pieces and drop them into the boiling water. Continue to boil for three to four minutes. And then strain through a fine m a t c h i e f place it over a large bowl, and pressing out every bit of liquid and paste. Make sure to scrape the paste off the bottom of the sieve, and mix it into the liquid. Now you have tamarind paste ready to use. Let's make pad thai sauce. To make the pad thai sauce, combine water, palm sugar, tamarind paste, oyster sauce, fish sauce. Turn the heat up to high heat. Let the sauce start to boil until rolling boil. Then you turn the heat down to medium. Stir occasionally. It take about five minutes. So the sugar has dissolved and the sauce start to be more thickening. And now you have your pad thai sauce ready to use. And if it left over here, you can keep in the fridge for up to about one week. For up to three months. Now let's make pad thai. Place the rice noodles in a large bowl and add enough room temperature water to cover them by two inches. Let's soak until soft. Keep the noodle in water until just before cooking to prevent them from drying out. So along with your pre-soaked noodles and your homemade pad thai sauce, you will need oil, shrimps. Min shallots, tofu, eggs, bean sprouts, chives, ground peanuts, lamb, dry chili. I like to heat up the wok with the high heat, just to prep the wok, and then I will turn the heat down to medium. Then I will add oil, add shrimps, and cook the shrimps just enough. For it to turn orange, but not fully cooked, because later on we will cook with the sauce again. After that, we will add minced shallots and add tofu. Now we let the shallots and tofu cook. Then we add homemade pad thai sauce and stir them to mix with all the ingredients. Let it simmer just a little bit. And add the noodles. Now stir to mix the noodle with the sauce. g i l l use a tong or a ladle to help. Turn the heat up to the high heat. Let it cook. So when it cook, you will see that the noodles start to be soft and turn silky. Now push the noodle to one side. Add the eggs to the empty size. Just gonna slightly break the yolk and use the tong to spread the noodle. Cover the eggs. Add bean sprouts and chives. 
then stir to mix. At this point, I will turn off my heat. So then we have a very nice and crispy vegetable. Now we transfer it to a serving plate and enjoy our pad thai. And here our pad thai. Thank you so much for having me today. I having fun cooking with you. And you can find the Pad Thai recipe and other Thai recipe in my cookbook, Kin. And don't forget to visit our newest Pai location at Yang Eglinton. Thank you.